Learning a new language may initially seem like a daunting task. As beginners, we need to start by learning a few simple rules and basic words which form the foundations of a new language. Only when this base is strong and without cracks, we can slowly build our knowledge. Much like learning a language, learning anatomy also requires strong foundations. Advancing in anatomy is impossible without first conquering the anatomical alphabet. Today we are learning about one of the building blocks in the language of anatomy. Welcome to this short and sweet tutorial on the regions of the body. Before we start, let's take a quick look at what we'll cover in this video. We'll start with answering the question, what is a region of the body? And the relevance of a regional anatomy approach. Then we're going to look at the two main anatomical divisions of the body, starting with the axial region, followed by the appendicular region. As we go through, we will also take a look at the major divisions of each of these regions. And finally, we'll talk about the relevance of these topics in clinical practice. But first things first, what is a region of the body or an anatomical region? It's an area of the body defined by landmarks provided by evidence structures that are easily palpable or visible. To put it simply, it is a part of the body that, because of its shape and form, easily stands out as distinct from the other regions. These shapes are created by various structures found underneath the skin, such as bones, muscles, or ligaments. Just like a map, a region of the body refers to a certain, distinct area. You can think of the body as a country, and the regions of the body as districts. This approach to the study of the human body is called regional anatomy. You might be wondering, why do we need to split up the body into anatomical regions? This is essentially a way of compartmentalizing the body so it is easier to learn the overwhelming amount of information available regarding its anatomy. And these concepts are also fundamental to communicate effectively in day-to-day -day clinical practice. In this tutorial, we will use images of both male and female individuals to demonstrate the regions in question. However, it is important to note that for the most part, the regions are exactly the same and are not sex-specific. Broadly speaking, the body can be divided into two primary areas the axial and the appendicular regions. The axial region consists of the head, neck, and trunk. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.